YouTube, Edgar here, and welcome to Artifexy, and here you will learn everything you ever wanted to know about world building, and then some. So, back in the long long ago of the early 90s, astronomers believed, and justifiably so, that our solar system was a typical planetary system. Small rocky planets on the inside, and large gas giants on the outside, all orbiting a single low mass star. But then NASA's Kepler mission came along and its findings blew astronomers' minds the world over. The slew of data it has gathered has shown us that our system is far from typical. And if anything, our solar system is kinda weird. Here's some different types of planetary architectures that might get your creative juices flowing. Hot Jupiter systems. One of the first types of planetary systems detected by astronomers was the so-called Hot Jupiter system. Here, a Jupiter-like planet orbits extremely closely to its host star. So close that a year on these hot Jupiters usually lasts about two to five Earth days. Hot Jupiter systems for the most part tend to be one planet systems, like the 51 Pegasi system. But when they do feature multiple planets, there tends to be a massive gap between the inner hot Jupiter and any other planets further out. This can be seen in the HD 68988 system where the inner hot Jupiter zips around the star every six days, but the outer planet takes anywhere between 4,000 and 22,000 days to complete a single orbit. Frost line systems. These systems host very large planets, significantly bigger than Earth, but less than Neptune. These so-called super-Earths orbit close to their host star on nearly circular orbits. They tend to be tightly packed together and a high percentage of them will hang out around the frost line. The Gliese 876 system is a good example of this. Long period systems. On the flip side, there are systems that contain only two to four giant planets that orbit their host star with very elongated eccentric orbits. Astronomers believe that planet scattering might have caused these orbits to go highly eccentric. But another interesting possibility is that the planets may have formed around another star, were ejected and eventually found their way to the new host star which would certainly account for their highly eccentric orbits. HR8799 is an example of such a system with its second planet's orbit being almost four times more eccentric than Earth's. Compact systems. The KOI 500 system features five planets ranging in size from 1.3 to 2.6 Earth masses. I know what you're saying, that's all not very interesting, and you'd be right, but these five planets are crammed into an area of space only one twelfth the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Complicated orbital mechanics and resonances keep this precarious system stable, and a cool side effect of this is that every 191 days the system returns to an identical orientation. Dusty systems. Can a planetary system have more than one asteroid belt? Yes, indeed it can. The nearest planetary system to us, the Epsilon Eridani system, boasts not just a badass name, but two asteroid belts and a dusk disk to boot. Failed Sun Systems So, a planet is a planet if its mass is less than 13 times the mass of Jupiter. Any more and it's considered a brown dwarf. Failed Sun Systems are planetary systems that feature objects on both sides of this 13 Jupiter mass dividing line such as HD 168443, which features a Jupiter-class planet and a brown dwarf orbiting their whole star. Tatooine Systems The Tatooine system depicted in the Star Wars movies is a P-type system. A P-type system is one where the two suns are relatively close together, and any planets present orbit both of the stars. The PSR B1620-26 system is an example of a real-life Tatooine. On the other hand, S-type systems like Kepler-38 occur when the pair of stars orbit each other relatively far apart, and any planets present orbit only one of the stars. Theoretically, a third type of binary system exists, where a planet can switch stars at random. This type of system is chaotic at best, and is probably only stable for a few million years, and will eventually result in the planet being incinerated, or being ejected into interstellar space. I'll leave you with this beauty, the incredible PH1 system. It's not a binary system, but rather a quaternary system. Yup, that's right, four stars and two pairs in this behemoth. And if that wasn't amazing enough, a single Neptune-sized planet orbits one of these pairs. So PH1 is kind of like a super hybrid system displaying both S and P-type qualities. Dear Universe, You are the best of people.
Guys, check the description for links to my Facebook and Twitter. But more importantly, like and subscribe right here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. Edgar out.